మ్యాథ్స్ మ్యాజిక్ వర్క్ బుక్ క్లాస్ ఫైవ్ చాప్టర్ నైన్ మెజర్మెంట్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో లెట్ ఎస్ కంప్లీట్ ద వర్క్షీట్స్ ఎయిట్ టు ఫోర్టీన్ వర్క్షీట్ ఎయిట్ ఫస్ట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఏ డౌ కెన్ కవర్ ట్వంటీ కిలోమీటర్స్ డిస్టెన్స్ ఇన్ వన్ అవర్ హౌ మచ్ డిస్టెన్స్ కెన్ ఇట్ కవర్ ఇన్ ఎయిట్ అవర్స్ సొల్యూషన్ డిస్టెన్స్ కవర్డ్ ఇన్ వన్ అవర్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ట్వంటీ కిలోమీటర్స్ డిస్టెన్స్ కవర్డ్ ఇన్ ఎయిట్ అవర్స్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు వీ కెన్ గెట్ దిస్ బై మల్టిప్లైయింగ్ ద డిస్టెన్స్ కవర్డ్ ఇన్ వన్ అవర్ విత్ ఎయిట్ ఆఫ్టర్ మల్టిప్లికేషన్ వీ గెట్ వన్ హండ్రెడ్ సిక్స్టీ కిలోమీటర్స్ దేర్ ఫర్ డిస్టెన్స్ కవర్డ్ ఇన్ ఎయిట్ అవర్స్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ హండ్రెడ్ సిక్స్టీ కిలోమీటర్స్ సెకండ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ అంజయ్య ప్లాంటెడ్ థర్టీ సిక్స్ మ్యాంగో ట్రీస్ ఇన్ ఎ రో విత్ ఎ డిస్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ టూ మీటర్స్ బిట్వీన్ టూ ప్లాంట్స్ హౌ మచ్ డిస్టెన్స్ డిడ్ ద ట్రీస్ కవర్ ఇన్ ద రో సొల్యూషన్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాంగో ట్రీస్ ఇన్ ఏ రో ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు థర్టీ సిక్స్ డిస్టెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ టూ ప్లాంట్స్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు టూ మీటర్స్ డిస్టెన్స్ కవర్డ్ బై వన్ ట్రీ వీ కెన్ గెట్ దిస్ బై మై డివైడింగ్ టూ మీటర్స్ డిస్టెన్స్ విత్ టూ ఆఫ్టర్ డివైడింగ్ వీ గెట్ వన్ మీటర్ దట్ ఈస్ డిస్టెన్స్ కవర్డ్ బై వన్ ట్రీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ మీటర్ డిస్టెన్స్ కవర్డ్ బై థర్టీ సిక్స్ ట్రీస్ వీ కెన్ గెట్ దిస్ బై మల్టిప్లైయింగ్ ద డిస్టెన్స్ కవర్డ్ బై వన్ ట్రీ విత్ థర్టీ సిక్స్ After multiplication, we get 36 meters. That is, distance covered by 36 trees is equal to 36 meters. Third problem. In 8 days, Prasad traveled a distance of 2640 kilometers in a summer trip. Find the average distance he covered per day. Solution. Number of days is equal to 8. Distance traveled in 8 days is equal to 2640 kilometers. Distance covered in 1 day. We can get this by dividing distance traveled in 8 days with 8. After dividing we get 330 kilometers. That is distance covered in 1 day is equal to 330 kilometers. Fourth problem. Naresh used... 4,200 meters of electric wire roll for three similar flats in an apartment. How much wire did he use for one flat? Solution Number of flats is equal to 3. Length of the electric wire used is equal to 4,200 meters. Wire used for one flat. We can get this by dividing uh, the electric wire used for three flats with 3. After dividing, we get 1,400 meters. That is, wire used for one flat is equal to 1,400 meters. Worksheet 9 First problem. A cabbage weighs 1 kg 500 grams. Express the weight of cabbage in grams. Solution Weight of cabbage is equal to 1 kg 500 grams. As we know that 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. By converting the given weight into grams, we get 1500 grams. That is 1 kg 500 grams is equal to 1500 grams. Second problem, Pochamma collected a bag of coffee beans weighs 2540 grams. When she wants to sell it, the buyer measured it in kilograms. How much would it be in kgs, grams? Solution, weight of the bag is equal to 2540 grams. As we know that, 1000 grams is equal to 1 kg. After converting 2540 grams into kilograms and grams, we get 2 kgs, 540 grams. Third problem, which unit we use to measure the weight of an elephant? We can measure the weight of an elephant in pounds. Fourth problem, 450 
kgs 500 grams and 520 kgs 700 grams weight of jogery unloaded from truck containing 1000 kilograms for two shops how much jogery does still remains in the truck solution total weight of jogery in the truck is equal to 1000 kilograms weight of jogery unloaded for one shop is equal to 450 kilograms 500 grams weight of jogery unloaded for another shop is equal to 520 kilograms 700 grams total weight of jogery unloaded we can get this by adding the weight of jogery unloaded for two shops after adding 450 kilograms 500 grams and 520 kilograms 700 grams we get 971 kg 200 grams therefore weight of jogery remained in the truck is equal to we can get this by subtracting the weight of unloaded jogery from the total weight of the jogery in the truck that is 1000 kilograms minus 971 kilograms 200 grams after subtraction we get 28 kg 800 grams therefore weight of jogery remained in the truck is equal to 28 kg 800 grams worksheet 10 first problem kumar collects old newspapers he collected 25 kg 500 grams 18 kg 200 grams and 35 kg newspapers in 3 days respectively how much weight of newspapers did he collect weight of newspapers collected in first day is equal to 25 kg 500 grams weight of newspapers collected in second day is equal to 18 kg 200 grams weight of newspapers collected in third day is equal to 35 kg therefore total weight of newspapers he collected we can get this by adding the weight of newspapers collect, collected in 3 days that is 25 kg 500 grams plus 18 kg 200 grams plus 35 kg after adding we get 78 kg 700 grams therefore total weight of newspapers he collected is equal to 78 kg 700 grams second problem salomi bought 3 kg 500 grams carrots 2 kg 250 grams beans and 2 kg tomatoes from market what was the total weight of vegetables bought by salomi solution weight of the carrots bought is equal to 3 kg 500 grams weight of the beans bought is equal to 2 kg 250 grams weight of the tomatoes bought is equal to 2 kg therefore total weight of the vegetables bought we can get this by adding the weights of carrot beans and tomatoes that is equal to 3 kg 500 grams plus 2 kg 250 grams plus 2 kg that is equal to 7 kg 750 grams therefore total weight of the vegetables bought is equal to 7 kg 750 grams third problem government provided 5 kg of rice 3 kg of wheat 1 kg of dal and 500 grams of sugar to the white card holders on the occasion of ramzan what was the total quantity of the grocery items solution weight of rice is equal to 5 kg weight of wheat is equal to 3 kg weight of dal is equal to 1 kg weight of sugar is equal to 500 grams therefore total weight of grocery items we can get this by adding the weights of rice wheat dal and sugar that is 5 kg plus 3 kg plus 1 kg plus 500 grams after adding we get total weight of grocery items is equal to 9 kg 500 grams fourth problem in a school 24 kg 450 grams of rice is used to cook from 50 kg rice packet How much rice is left in the packet? Solution: Weight of the rice packet is equal to 50 kg. Weight of rice used is equal to 24 kg 450 grams. 
weight of the rice left in the packet we can get this by subtracting weight of the rice used from the total weight of the rice packet that is 50 kg minus 24 kg 450 grams after subtraction we get 25 kg 550 grams therefore weight of the rice left in the packet is equal to 25 kg 550 grams worksheet 11 first problem 5 kg cake is distributed among students equally in a class if there are 25 members in the class how much weight of cake will each one get solution number of students is equal to 25 weight of the cake is equal to 5 kilograms by converting 5 kilograms into grams we get 5000 grams as 1 k kilogram is equal to 1000 grams weight of the cake each one will get is equal to we can get this by dividing the weight of the cake with the number of students that is 500 grams divided by 25 after dividing we get 200 grams therefore weight of the cake each one will get is equal to 200 grams second problem rajni prepared a laddu weighing 30 grams find the weight of 25 laddus weight of the one laddu is equal to 30 grams number of laddus is equal to 25 weight of 25 laddus we can get this by multiplying weight of one laddu with number of laddus that is 30 grams multiplied with 25 after uh, multiplication we get 750 grams therefore weight of 25 laddus is equal to 750 grams third problem a bundle of 15 books weighs 27 kgs find the weight of one book solution number of books in the bundle is equal to 15 weight of the bundle is equal to 27 kilograms weight of one book we can get this by dividing weight of the bundle with number of books that is 27 kgs divided by 15 after dividing we get 1 kilogram 800 grams therefore weight of one book is equal to 1 kilogram 800 grams fourth problem gauraya's tamarind trees yield 240 kgs of tamarind he filled the tamarind in eight bags what would be the weight of each bag total weight of the tamarind is equal to 240 kgs number of bags is equal to 8 weight of tamarind in each bag we can get this by dividing the weight of total weight of tamarind with number of bags that is 240 kgs divided by 8 after dividing we get 30 kgs therefore weight of tamarind in each bag is equal to 30 kgs worksheet 12 first roman convert the following as suggested a problem 980 milliliters into liters as 1000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter by converting 980 milliliters into liters we should divide 980 with 1000 that is equal to 0 0.980 liters that is 980 milliliters is equal to 0 0.980 liters b problem 7960 milliliters into liters by converting 7960 milliliters into liters we should divide 7960 with 1000 we get 7.960 liters that is 7960 milliliters is equal to 7.960 liters second roman do the following a problem is the addition we should add 37 liters 380 milliliters to 12 liters 460 milliliters after adding we get 49 liters 840 milliliters in b problem we should add 14 liters 460 milliliters to 2 liters 590 milliliters after adding we get 17 liters 
50 milliliters that is the answer is 17 liters 50 milliliters third roman do the following a problem is a subtraction we should subtract 9 liters 460 milliliters from 58 liters 250 milliliters after subtraction we get 48 liters 790 milliliters b problem we should subtract 29 liters 450 milliliters from 89 liters 820 milliliters after subtraction we get 60 liters 370 milliliters fourth roman do the following a problem is a multiply 49 liters 125 milliliters with 13 before multiplication let us convert 49 liters 125 milliliters into milliliters after converting we get 49125 milliliters after multiplying 49125 milliliters with 13 we get 6,38,625 milliliters. Therefore, by converting 6,38,625 milliliters into liters, we get 638 liters plus 625 milliliters, that is 638 liters and 625 milliliters. Therefore, by multiplying 49 liters 125 milliliters with 13, we get 638 liters 625 milliliters. B problem 27 liters 200 milliliters multiplied with 24. Before multiplying, let us convert 27 liters 200 milliliters into milliliters. By converting 27 liters 200 milliliters into milliliters, we get 27,200 milliliters therefore by multiplying 27,200 milliliters with 24 we get 6,52,800 milliliters by converting 6,52,800 milliliters into liters we get 652 liters 800 milliliters that is 27 liters 200 milliliters multiplied with 24 is equal to 652 liters 800 milliliters Fifth Roman, do the following. A problem, 24 liters, 900 milliliters divided by 15. Before division, let us convert 24 liters, 900 milliliters into milliliters. That is equal to 24,900 milliliters. Therefore, by dividing 24,900 milliliters with 15, we get 1,660 milliliters. If we convert 1660 milliliters into liters, we get 1 liter 660 milliliters. The, that is 2900 milliliters divided by 15 is equal to 1 liter 660 milliliters. B problem 4808 liters divided by 8. After dividing, we get 601 liters. That is 4,808 liters divided by 8 is equal to 601 liters. Worksheet 13 First problem. Anu used 220 milliliters of dishwash from 1 liter packet. How much dishwash is left in the packet? Solution. Quantity of the dishwash packet is equal to 1 liter that is equal to 1000 milliliters quantity of the dishwash used is equal to 220 milliliters quantity of the dishwash left in the packet we can get this by subtracting the quantity of dishwash used from the total quantity of dishwash in the packet that is 1000 milliliters minus 220 milliliters after subtraction we get 780 milliliters that is quantity of the dishwash left in the packet is equal to 780 milliliters. Second problem. Purnaya's family buys 2 liters of milk every day. They use 750 milliliters of milk to make curd. 
how much milk is consumed by the family for other purposes solution quantity of milk bought every day is equal to 2 liters that is equal to 2000 milliliters quantity of milk used to make curd is equal to 750 milliliters quantity of milk consumed for other purposes we can get this by subtracting quantity of milk used from the total quantity of milk that is 2000 milliliters minus 750 milliliters that is equal to 1250 milliliters therefore quantity of milk consumed for other purposes is equal to 1250 milliliters if we convert 1250 milliliters into liters we get 1 liter 250 milliliters third problem ridamma sold 25 liters 200 ml 10 liters 500 ml and 9 liters 750 ml of milk in 3 successive days how many liters of milk did she sell in all the 3 days solution quantity of milk sold on first day is equal to 25 liters 200 ml quantity of milk sold on second day is equal to 15 liters 500 ml quantity of milk sold on third day is equal to 9 liters 750 ml therefore total quantity of milk sold we can get this by adding the quantity of milk sold on 3 days that is equal to 25 liters 200 ml plus 15 liters 500 ml plus 9 liters 750 ml after adding we get 50 liters 450 ml therefore total quantity of milk sold is equal to 50 liters 450 ml fourth problem yadaya has two cows each cow gives 5 liters of milk a day how many liters of do the cows give for one month solution number of cows is equal to 2 quantity of milk given by one cow is equal to 5 liters quantity of milk given by two cows we can get this by multiplying quantity of milk given by one cow with 2 that is equal to 10 liters number of days in a month is equal to 30 quantity of milk given for one month we can get this by multiplying the quantity of milk given for one day by two cows with 30 that is 10 liters multiplied with 30 we get 300 liters therefore quantity of milk given for one month is equal to 300 liters worksheet 14 first roman fill in the blanks the basic unit of capacity is liter we can write 7 meters 25 cm as 725 cm mm stands for millimeter my water bottle capacity is 1 liter second roman match the following let us match with correct measuring scale pencil nib millimeters gold ring gram water bottle liter rice packet kg door length meter distance between two cities kilometers hand span centimeters third roman a question which weight is heavier 35 kg or 30 kg 500 grams after uh, if we convert into grams we get 35 kg is equal to 35000 grams we get 30 kg 500 grams into 30500 grams so 35 kg weight is heavier b question which measurement is smaller 16 km or 1600 meters 1600 meters is smaller c question which unit is 1 by 100 of a meter 1 cm thank you for watching